you do, Aveline? You know I'm a guard. Why are you asking? I mean in your off-duty hours, for fun. You've heard of it, I hope. These are my off-duty hours. And the trend of you scaring the piss out of me continues. Hard to believe they left me nothing. Well, Mother was pretty steamed when you ran off with your Ferelden apostate. I'm still their daughter, their eldest. Get out of my face! Your mother's bad enough, I don't need you. My children have been in servitude, servitude for a year. They should be nobility. If wishes were poppy, we'd all be dreaming. This is the way things are, Mother. Gambling can't change it now. Your mother was supposed to marry the Comte de Lancey, and instead she ran off with some Ferelden apostate. You don't get to stay the favorite when you do that. Where is Father's will? If I could just see for myself. It's not here, all right? It was red, it went in the vault. No one needed to look at it again. I know the Amels were nobility, Mother. But not much else. Why don't you ever talk about them? The Amels have been a noble family in Kirkwall since Garahel drove out the fourth blight. But we've always carried magic in our blood. It's been a stain on our lineage. No family of good standing would ever marry into a line with magic. When I chose your father, I was bringing more magic into our line, not less. I think that's what hurt my parents the most. Did Grandfather mention Mother in his will at all? Our father died when you were still in Pinafore's girl. You can hardly expect me to remember. Sounds like a yes to me. Please, Uncle. We have a right to see it for ourselves. Maybe so. But you won't be seeing the bloody thing. It's still locked up on the estate, and that's long out of my hands. You didn't take your parents' will. It was old news. You think I've been sitting here for 25 years waiting for Leandra to slink back? Who bought the estate, Gavin? Perhaps I could speak to them. Was it the Reinhardts? No one you know. Get used to Lowtown, sister. That's where we're going to stay. So, I hate thinking badly of family. But did Uncle Gamlin seem a little slippery when he talked about Grandfather's will? If he, say, invested money that was meant to be Mother's, do you think he would tell us? I want what's ours. Good. I'm glad we agree. Gamlin told me he gave the estate as payment to some slaver who beat him at dice. Apparently, 
Our ancestral home is now a base for slavers from all over Thedas. Good. Then we can break in, and I don't care if we kill them. I already talked to both of them about this. Gamlin said they guard the front entrance well. But Mother gave me her old key. She said it should unlock the cellar. Apparently the sewers run right beneath the house. One scrubbing brush, never used. One scrubbing brush, never used. I think this is the same cheese that was here a year ago. I can't have Mother living in this hole. We've got to get out of here. This is the same cheese that was here a year ago. I think this is the same cheese that was here a year ago. I can't have Mother living in this hole. We've got to get out of here. Looks like the dog's trying to tunnel his way out of this hovel. Can't blame him. He wasn't like this in Lothering. I think he misses the open fields. Come on. Let's play Fetch the Invisible Ball. Poor thing. Maybe he'd be happier if we brought him with us more often. We might soon have need for a war dog. Take it. I'm sick of what's his name staring and panting. Gamlin, honestly, a Mabari understands what you say. Try using his name. What's wrong with dog? Real easy to remember. Come on, boy. This is no time to play dead. I just keep waiting for the Templars to knock on that door. The house won't clean itself, Uncle.
You show admirable restraint, Bethany. For a mage, you mean? I could also say for a hawk. But yes, for a mage. You have a sword. Why aren't you killing someone right now? Fair point. But I can put my sword down. Believe me, I have tried. I won't complain about Uncle Gamlin's house anymore. Greetings. Double patrols here if I had my choice. Lowtown is trouble. Can you imagine? Mother gave all that up for father. outside of Orzammar.
Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. You want daggers?
You again. What do you want? I hear you know where I can find a Ferelden Grey Warden. Only Ferelden Grey Warden I've heard of is sitting on the throne. We're out of the Blight's path now. Why would you need a warden? The healer was one of them once, wasn't he? A warden? Well, he's not now, and busy enough without answering fool questions about it. Then I'll only ask very smart questions. I do not joke, Sirrah. You see what our people face in Kirkwall. They have no jobs, no homes. Most can barely buy bread. This healer, he serves them without thought for coin. He's closed their wounds, delivered their children. And yet he needs to hide. He's a good man. I won't lose him to the blighted Templars. You mean he's a mage? Would I stick my neck out for some purveyor of hensbane and leeches? We would never turn someone over to the Templars, mistress. Never. He doesn't want to be locked in the gallows just for using the gifts the Maker gave him. You mean he would... He doesn't want to be locked in the gallows just for using the gifts the Maker gave him. Your healer is in no danger from me. If this mage is an apostate, the Templars will find him. No maid should suffer for an accident of birth. I suppose it isn't my secret to keep. Anders has certainly been free enough with his services. Refugees in Darktown know to find the healer, look for the lit lantern. If you have need enough, Anders will be with him. I asked at 30 farms for work. Not one is hiring for Reldens. Hey, we heard you in there, asking about the healer. We know what happens to mages in this town. And it ain't gonna happen to him. I'm as Ferelden as you. I won't harm your healer. Ferelden? But you, your clothes. I figured you for a Kirkwaller, sorry. Make her bless the rule of our King Alistair. Sorry I couldn't get you more information about the circle, Bethany. It's difficult without name. Telling you. Thank you for being discreet. I don't want the Templars at my door. No one. idiots who think they can take the streets in the dark, but good reward in getting rid of them. Streets 
just because it's dark. Are you answering? Ah! Sweet mother of Parth. You can't just run up on someone like that. Are you the one that mercenary told me about? The one looking for work? I used to work with the Red Iron, if that's what you mean. Yes, it is. What I mean, that is... My apologies, human. I haven't been on the surface very long. I keep thinking I'll fall up into that sky any minute. <laughs> Bartrand used to be like that. Got jumpy every time he stepped outside. What a bizarre thing to be scared of. But I digress. I need some help. Rather badly, in fact. Some product of mine has been misplaced. The men who were supposed to deliver it decided not to. If you retrieve my property, I could reward you handsomely. Just what did these men steal? <laughs> did I say steal? I don't know if I would go that far. They seemed like perfectly reasonable smugglers. They smiled and everything. The goods are valuable, however, and illegal. And my client wants them very, very badly. <laughs> you know how these Templars can be. You're smuggling Lyrium to the Templars? Maker's breath. Between the Chantry, the Carta, and the Coterie. <laughs> By the Paragons? Not so loudly! My word. I'm not cut out for this. I should have taken that job sweeping staples like Mother insisted. Just what did these men steal? <laughs> did I say steal? I don't know if I would go that far. They seemed like perfectly reasonable smugglers. They smiled and everything. The goods are valuable, however, and illegal. And my client wants them very, very badly. <laughs> you know how these Templars can be. You're smuggling Lyrium to the Templars. Maker's breath. Between the Chantry, the Carta, and the Coterie. <laughs> By the Paragons? Not so loudly? My word. I'm not cut out for this. I should have taken that job sweeping staples like Mother insisted. I'll get it back for you. Sure. Add it to the list of things I'm accessory to. Oh, thank goodness. The gentlemen conduct their business at night in a little hovel within the alienage. If you have to kill them, then I guess it can't be avoided. But I'm sure they'll be reasonable. What could go wrong? I'm sure everything will be fine. Free drinks for the guards. But accept and... That's a fact, is it? Think about it. Why would it start in for... I've got a stiff drink with your name on it. What's the word on the street? You saw the ship wrecked. Apparently, the Dreadnought was fighting another ship before they both crashed on the reef. Thank And... Shall I... Shall I get a lot? You've had enough. You found an arch demon. Never happened. It was all a Ferelden ploy.
The streets aren't safe at night. We should do something about that. Get out of my face! Your mother's bad enough. I don't need you nagging me. One scrubbing brush. Never used. Here we go!
could go wrong? I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's make this quick! The alien that shouldn't see this far. <laughs> Trap! And that should do it.
clearly expecting someone. Ancestors are probably in that chest. It's empty. Waste of bloody time. Who put us up to this? I guess we had no choice but to go back to Ansel and tell him. Not the elf. Who is that? It doesn't matter. We were told to kill whoever enters the house. I don't know who you are, friend, but you made a serious mistake coming here. Lieutenant, I want everyone in the clearing, now! Captain! Your men are dead, and your trap has failed. I suggest running back to your master while you can. You're going nowhere, slave! I am not a slave. I apologize. When I asked Anso to provide a distraction for the hunters, I had no idea they'd be so numerous. I take it these men were looking for you. Correct. My name is Fenris. These men were Imperial Bounty Hunters, seeking to recover a Magister's lost property, namely myself. They were trying to lure me into the open. Crude as their methods were, I could not face them alone. Thankfully, Anso chose wisely. Everything Anso said was a lie, then? Not everything. Your employer was simply not who you believed. If you couldn't fight them, why not just run? There comes a time when you must stop running, when you turn and face the tiger. That seems like a lot of effort to find one slave. It is. Does this have something to do with those markings? <laughs> yes. I imagine I must look strange to you. I did not receive these markings by choice. Even so, they have served me well. Without them, I would still be a slave. Anso's job did seem a little too easy. Perhaps the deception was unnecessary. If so, I'm sorry. I've become too accustomed to hiding. If I may ask, what was in the chest? The one they kept in the house? It was empty. I suppose it was too much to hope for. Even so, 
I had to know. You were expecting something else? I was, but I shouldn't have. It was bait, nothing more. You didn't need to lie to get my help. That remains to be seen. It's as I thought. My former master accompanied them to the city. I know you have questions, but I must confront him before he flees. I will need your help. It sounds like you intend to do more than just talk. Daenerys wants to strip the flesh from my bones, and has sent so many hunters that I've lost count. And before that, he kept me on a leash like a Canari mage, a personal pet to mock Canari custom. So, yes, I intend to do more than just talk. If I'm compensated for my trouble, then I'll help. I will find a way to repay you. I swear it. The Magister is staying at a mansion in Hightown. Meet me there as soon as you can. We must enter before morning.